Today we're going to be learning how to make these tiny hearts. It doesn't require a magic ring. For this project, I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook and some scrap yarn, mostly in size 4. So let's get started. First of all, we'll need a slip knot. And to make a slip knot, just hold your yarn with the end near the bottom and then wrap it around two fingers to form an X. Grab your hook, go under and over and grab that piece of yarn through. Pull your fingers out and pull the knot tight. Then chain five. To chain, yarn over and pull through. Now we're going to do four more. Next is the double crochet. And we're going to be working in the third chain from the hook. So the third chain is this one. So yarn over, insert our hook into that third chain. Make sure to get under these two pieces of yarn. This isn't absolutely necessary, but it does make the hole smaller. Yarn over, pull the loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And then we're going to do two more into that same chain space. So you have three double crochets. So for the next chain, we're going to work a single crochet. For this chain, you don't have to worry about going under both loops. It's a little hard to do that anyways. So it's a single crochet. Insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. In the next chain, we're going to work two slip stitches. To slip stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull the loop, and then pull that loop through the first loop on your hook. I do that one more time and now we're going to be working on the other side of the starting chain so we're going to make it identical so we've already copied the slip stitch next will be the single crochet so insert your hook into that same chain that you single crocheted into earlier and do your single crochet and then go into the next chain and do your three double crochets while you work the stitches on this side of the chain, you can carry the tail end of your starting chain while you make your stitches. This is so you don't have to weave in this end later on. When that's done, chain two and slip stitch into that same chain that you double crocheted three into. Well, six now. This causes the top of the heart to have a curved shape and it replicates the other side of the heart. Um, now that it's done, you can either leave these two loose ends and tie it to something, maybe a Valentine's Day card or use it as a little tag, I don't know. But if you want to sew in the ends, then you'll need either a yarn needle or a smaller crochet hook. Now I think this is a little easier with the yarn needle, so I'll be using that. The other piece of yarn that we carried under our stitches, we can cut that off now. If you didn't carry it over, you can just sew that in now. And to sew it in, I'm just going to loop my yarn into the needle. And just weave it under the double crochets that I did. And if you tug it a little bit, then it'll make the top middle part pull in and make the heart a little more defined. And just cut off your ends, and it's finished. And that is all for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.